Hey everyone, I've got another Digimon video for today, and it is on a uh, Dark Jamon slash, uh, well not slash, but uh, Dark Jamon and the D Brigade. Uh, this video has been kind of uh, put off for a while, so let's just uh, go into it. Of course, for the start, we'll start off with the eggs. We're going to start off with four of Pug. Pagumon. This is probably the best uh, black egg at the moment. Uh, it has the effect of on deletion, reveal the top card of your deck, add it to to your hand, and if it's a black Digimon, otherwise place it at the bottom of your deck. Pretty nice. And as I said, this is probably the best uh, black egg that we have. And of course, that is an inheritable effect that all of your other Digimon that you put on top of this can gain. Let's start off with the rookies now. Or not start off, continue on with the rookies. The first rookie is that we have is this Commandramon. This has the on deletion effect of reveal the top three cards of your deck. You may play one Commandramon among them without paying its memory cost and then place the remaining cards at the bottom of your deck in any order. Very nice. Every rookie we have in here is a version of Commandramon, which is nice. So you have quite a few targets for this effect. It can even uh, get another copy of itself, which is nice. Uh, next up, we have four copies of the Decoy Commandramon. Uh, decoy is kind of a new uh, keyword that they've made. It's somewhat new at this point. Uh, decoy, D-Brigade Traits. When one of your other Digimon with D Brigade and its traits would be deleted by an opponent's effect, you may delete this Digimon instead, which is nice. You can protect your big uh, Dark Jamons or really any of your other D Brigade stuff, and you sacrifice it instead, which is pretty interesting. Uh, next up, we've got the Blocker Command Jamons. Of course, what these do is they block attacks. Nice and simple. Probably the second best Commander Mon next to the On Deletion one. And then to wrap things up, we've got this Vanilla Commander Mon, which is two to play directly from the hand, which is nice. There is the other slightly stronger Commander Mon, but that is a play cost of four, but is also zero to evolve, just like this one. But since this one's cheaper to play, I decided on this one instead. Really, you could mix and match either of the vanilla Commander Mons. Hopefully, we do get another Commander Mon with an effect that will replace this one. But still, perfectly fine, as is. Uh, next up, for the level 4s, we've got four of this Seals Jamon. Its own effect is jamming, meaning it can't be deleted against Security Digimon, and then it's inheritable, which it gives to others. Is your turn once per turn when you play another Digimon with D-Brigade in its traits, you give it Rush for the turn. Uh, the Rush keyword is, of course, when you directly play a Digimon from the hand, you can immediately attack with it, which is nice. Since you do play some Digimon in this deck from the hand, or play them with effects from the hand, this really helps out. Uh, next up, we've got the Blocker Seals Dramon. Four copies of that. Uh, the final level four we play is two of Grumblemon. This is the uh, hybrid uh, Digimon for black. You may digivolve this card from your hand onto one of your black tamers, as if that tamer was a level three black Digimon, which is nice. And we have a few tamers in this deck to use that with. Uh, next up, we've got the new Tank Dramon. Uh, when Digivolving, reveal the top three cards of your deck. You may play one Digimon card with D Brigade in its traits, and a play cost of five or less among them without paying its pay, without paying its cost. Trash the rest. And then its inheritable effect is your turn once per turn when one of your Digimon with D Brigade in its traits attacks. Reveal the top two cards of your deck. You may play one Commander Mon. Among them, without paying its play cost, trash the rest. 
So yeah, very nice. I do like him a bit better than this Tangtramon, but which is the next one. But both have their own uses, which is nice. Uh, when one of your other Digimon with D-Brigade and its type is deleted, reveal the top two cards of your deck. You may play one Commandramon among them without paying its memory cost. Place the remaining cards at the bottom of your deck in any order. And then it has no inheritable. Of course, for the level sixes, we've got the main boss of the deck. The two main bosses of the deck, both being versions of Dark Jamon. This version of Dark Jamon has this effect. When you would digivolve this, when you would digivolve into this card, you may return up to five cards with D Brigade in their traits from your trash to the top of your deck to reduce the digivolution cost. By one for each card returned. If you return five, this guy can evolve for free, which is nice. And then your turn. Of course, you might not want to always do that. There might be some stuff you don't want to put back on the top of your deck, for example. So, you can go up to five or not even do it at all if you want. But, of course, then you'd be paying five for that. Uh, anyway, your turn. Once per turn, when you would play another Digimon with debrigating its traits, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with a play cost less than or equal to that Digimon you played, and unsuspend this Digimon. This pairs up actually very nicely with the original Dark Dramon. It, of course, has Rush, meaning it can attack immediately when it comes out into play, and then it has the on play return up to five Digimon cards with debrigade. In their types from your trash to the top of your deck in any order. And for each card you return this way, you gain two memory back. Of course, again, this combos off very well with the new Dark Jamon. Uh, we're playing three and three of each. I'd honestly want to play one more of this, but I've only got the three at the moment. So, and the deck does work perfectly fine as it is. Um, we've got Tamers, um, we first up got three for Izzy, this is probably the best, uh, Tamer for Black we have. There are, well, there's quite a few good Black Tamers, but this is the best generic one. Uh, anyway, start of your turn is, of course, a Memory Tamer, meaning if you have two or less memory, you can set your memory to three at the start of your turn. And it has the on play, reveal the top three cards of your deck. If all the revealed cards are black, you gain a memory, and then you place the cards on the top of your deck in any order. That is super important, because that way you can set up your Commandramons to be on the top of your deck when you want to use the facts that search for them. Or for any other cards with, that require D-Brigades. Uh, next up for the final Tamer, we've got Kazu. It has the effects of start of your turn. If you have a Digimon with Cyborg or Machine in its traits in play, you gain one memory. So that's another memory to add on to what Izzy can get you. All turns when one of your Digimon with Cyborg or Machines and its traits become suspended, you may suspend this Tamer to draw one card and then you trash one to, in your hand to the discard pile. Of course, this helps you filter your effects that you'd need for Dark Jamon. And really, this helps uh, a lot of uh, black decks, Machine Dramon especially. Uh, that is it for Kazu. Of course, as they are tamers, if they are checked in security, they immediately come into play, which is nice. And the final card in the deck is a Memory Booster. This is Pride Memory Boost. It has the main effect of reveal the top three cards of your deck. You may play one black Digimon with a play cost of four or less among them without paying its memory cost, and then you trash the remaining cards, and then you place this in your battle area. And it has the other effect of delay. Trash this card in your battle area to activate the effect below. You cannot activate this effect the turn you play this card. You gain two memory. And of course, it also has the security effect of you can play it to your field if it's checked from memory. However, it does not get the main effect of reveal top three of your deck and then play something. It would only get the delay effect after... Your opponent's done attacking. Oh, mm -hmm. And then that is it for uh, the D-Brigade. I'm honestly hoping this deck does get even more support in the future. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, a lot of craziness has been happening, but I'm gladly uh, getting back to doing videos. 
as I said before, I hope you enjoyed this one and you have a good evening as well.